As the seventh largest air force in the world, it has seen a blistering run of modernization that has stunned the region and the world. The Indian Air Force has fought two air wars with Pakistan, but has always found comfort in a sizable advantage in numbers and the superior capabilities of its own fighters. But that reassuring edge is fast disappearing. Headlines Today has accessed a recent presentation made by the Defense Intelligence Establishment to the Ministry of Defense and Larger Security Establishment, a document which makes singularly ominous projections. The most glaring warning is about combat force ratio, an arithmetic comparison of numbers. Sample this. The presentation says that the ratio of 1 is to 1.7 in fighters is likely to progressively dip to 1 is to 1.2 by the end of 2012. It describes this as a historic low. It also says that the traditional high-tech advantage of the Indian Air Force is all but gone, with a 9.5 is to 11 squadron ratio now. Finally, with Pakistan rapidly acquiring early warning aircraft, mid-air refuelers and long-range missiles, the technology gap is at a historic low. At one time when we started against Pakistan, when we talk of 71 or 65 operations, number was superior. We were superior in numbers. The superiority used to be as 2.2 versus 1. That was the ratio that we were talking of. Slowly the numbers started declining. And uh, today we've reached a stage where we are 1.6 is to 1 as against uh, the enemy aircraft. The document is a wake-up call to India's military planners about how the decisions they take now could forever doom the crucial advantage that the Indian Air Force has always enjoyed against an adversary that can never be underestimated. It is an urgent call for course correction. With Durga Nandini in Delhi, Shiv Arur for headlines today. Well, both in 1965 and 1971, the Indian and Pakistani Air Forces fought with skill and valor, inflicting damage on each other. There were feats of bravery on both sides. But if the two forces were to fight another air war, things could be vastly different. The new Pakistan Air Force has a significantly enhanced fighting potential and the determined addition of new fighters and special mission aircrafts make it a truly well-rounded fighting force. For the Indian Air Force, that's bad news because with morale and numbers comes the highly unwelcome assertiveness. As the presentation accessed by us shows, things may actually get worse. The last time the air forces of India and Pakistan fought a full-blown war was 40 years ago. But if the Pakistan Air Force of 1971 was an enemy to be reckoned with, circumstances have made it an even more formidable adversary today. An internal assessment by the Indian Defence Establishment makes some grimly practical projections in the light of an adversary emboldened by an unfettered modernization spree. The government has been warned that with the Indian Air Force's edge slipping fast, the Pakistan Air Force's assertiveness is likely to increase. Once seen as a primarily defensive force, the Pakistan Air Force will use its new strength to employ offensive and defensive operations in equal measure. With new precision weapons, the Pakistan Air Force will conduct limited strikes to achieve strategic effects. The one thing that won't change, high-value targets in Jammu and Kashmir will be high-priority targets for the Pakistan Air Force. That it is a cause for concern and the powers that be, including our, uh, our uh, civil and the political uh, governance uh, in charges, need to think on these terms that we need to finish our contracts as fast as possible. There's a deeper threat at play than just fighter numbers. 
Consider these newly inducted force multipliers that all but kill the Indian air advantage. Pakistan is inducting four Swedish Saab, Arii and four Chinese Y-8 airborne early warning aircraft. India currently has just three. India no longer has the mid-air refueler advantage. Pakistan is inducting four identical IL-78M aircraft. The Indian Air Force's unmanned aerial vehicle advantage is also disappearing. Pakistan is acquiring 25 European UAVs with more in the pipeline. Despite the ominous projections of the presentation, there are those who believe the Indian Air Force will always remain on top. Among them, Air Marshal Denzel Keeler, one half of the legendary Keeler brothers who scored independent India's first air-to-air -air kill against Pakistan in 1965. We are not in such a vulnerable position. We are not in an inferior position. On the contrary, we can hit them very hard and very strong if anything happens on the conventional route. But for the Indian Air Force to remain ahead and stem the swiftly dwindling capability advantage over Pakistan, it needs to make some hard decisions across the